Hey there, welcome back. So from today, we will start exploring inheritance. Now, inheritance is an important concept when it comes to object-oriented programming. So first of all, we will try to understand what exactly an inheritance is, and then we will also check why we need inheritance in programming. All right, so in front of us, there are these three entities. These entities are bike, car, and truck, right? and all of these three entities is a vehicle right so these three entities bike car and truck follows a is a relationship with vehicle so whenever we talk about inheritance the parent entity and the child entity has a is a relationship in between so bike is a vehicle car is a vehicle likewise truck is a vehicle now moving forward these entities bike car and truck has some properties these properties are listed in front of us now what are the properties for these entities bike has engine wheels seat handle fuel tank lights then in car if we check the properties the properties are engine wheels seat steering fuel tank lights music system seat belt then air conditioner fridge entertainment system in truck, if we check the properties, properties are engine, wheel, seat, steering, fuel tank, lights, then music system, seat belt, air conditioner, then a container, right? So these are properties. Likewise, there are a couple of functionality involved to these entities as well. We will talk about functionality in a couple of minutes. First of all, let us discuss about the properties. All right. So these were the properties. And if we check these properties, many of the properties are common, right? So every vehicle will have a engine, a wheel, a seat, a fuel tank and lights. So these are some common properties which are there in a vehicle. So briefly, we can say that there are some common properties for vehicles, right? So let's proceed further. And uh, in our next slide, we can say all of these are vehicles, right? No rocket science in there. And moving forward, what are the common properties of a vehicle? Here is the list. Engine, wheels, seat, fuel tank, and lights are the common properties. So these concepts are clear, I suppose, right? So moving forward, if we do programming in such a manner that we can bring all of these common property into a vehicle class, and then we can inherit these properties to the child classes which are different type of vehicle then things could be very simple for us let me show you so in here if we bring the common properties of the vehicle in a common place we create a class for example with the name of vehicle and we bring all of these properties in this vehicle class then it would be pretty simple for us to code bike class car class and truck class why because the common things are handled in our vehicle class already and we need not to worry about the common entities in other case if we would like to code our class in this manner we need to handle the properties individually in every vehicle whether the vehicle is bike car or truck now this methodology could be cumbersome right so inheritance help us to reduce our effort and bring the common entities to the parent class and the common entities which are inherited from the parent class are automatically available in the child class now how to code this and how to handle the functionality is something which we will code and check and that will give you a better understanding but do understand this that the programming would be done like this we will inherit or uh, in other words bike car and truck will inherit the vehicle class and our work and our effort would be reduced so this is all about today's video where i try to give you a basic idea why inheritance is important and how inheritance works definitely we will code a program and we will check and dig more into this concept in our forthcoming videos thanks for watching and take care